So guys, I have pre-shuffled before I came on camera, but I'll let you guys, you know, watch me shuffle for a moment, okay? This is going to be from Capricorn through Sagittarius. What retrograde messages are there? From Capricorn through Sagittarius. All four signs, please. What messages are there? All right, so. Y'all know I got to keep the sage burning during this. All right, y'all good out there? All right, so let's start off with Capricorns. Interesting. All right. Capricorn, we have the world and the queen of cups. Okay, so I feel like some of you guys need to close a chapter, okay? Maybe you're contemplating on wrapping something up, completion, completing something, okay? Some of you guys may have been seeing the number 999. That is about completion as well. And it could be, have something in regards to do with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Queen of Cups is water energy. Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Is there a chapter that you need to close, okay? Is there a chapter that you need to close? So it looks like Capricorns are closing chapters, okay? Closing a chapter to start a new one. The world is about, you know, cycles. A cycle that has come to a complete. And you're getting ready to enter into a new cycle. All right, so we have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. All right, so you're not alone in this situation, okay? Take the leap of faith that you need to take to close up this chapter if it needs to be closed so you can begin a new chapter, okay? And you're not alone. You have support all around you. You have the right people in your corner for you to wrap up a chapter and things can continue to move along so you can go into your new chapter, okay? So let's see, we got Aquarius. Aquarius, we got the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords, okay? And the Seven of Swords is in the reverse, okay? So this is the same energy that I got for Libras, okay? Because I, I tried to do this video yesterday and of course, during this Mercury retrograde, things would, you know, act up and I wasn't able to upload the video because I was recording it and I missed and deleted the video. So I had to wait. But this was the same exact energy that I got for Libras. OK, some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra, but maybe someone is um, this is someone taking something being sneaky it could be something material okay someone could be taking someone's money taking someone's idea okay the ace of pentacles is virgo towards capricorn energy but this is an idea this is the universe handing someone an opportunity a golden opportunity okay so is it an idea is it something material but someone here is being sneaky about it seven of swords okay Seven of Swords is definitely, this is the sneak, cheat, liar card, okay? So some, be careful, Aquarius. I'm not sure if it's you. I'm not sure if it's someone around you. But be careful because we got a thief, okay? What message is there for Aquarius? What message do you have for Aquarius? Okay, see, we got no. Say no. Okay, wait, postpone. All right. Something here is just saying that 
someone has something about taking something on their mind, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Okay, so we got Pisces. Ooh, Pisces. Look at you guys getting your own card. A page of cups, okay? Flirting, lovey-dovey messages, romance, okay? And the lovers. Look at you, Pisces. Oh, do you have admirers, Pisces? <laughs> do you have someone who's giving, sending you love letters, Pisces? Mm -hmm, that's what this says, love letters. Admiration. Someone admires you, okay? Hmm. You go, Pisces. Somebody is sending you love messages, okay? Hmm. Nice. Okay, let's see. What message is there for Pisces? What message is there for Pisces? Pisces. <laughs> what message is there for Pisces? Okay, we have trust your path, okay? If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Okay, so if you had the support, what would you do? Okay. If you had the support... What would you do? It's something about a path that you're on, okay? You're down or going down the right path. You're doing something correct, okay? You're doing something. You're walking in the path that you're supposed to be walking in. A lot of you guys may have been seeing synchronicity, 111, 222, 333. You may have been seeing triple numbers. Um, things are just aligning. It seems like you guys are in alignment, okay? So, more power to you, Pisces. All right, so let's go to Aries. Aries. Okay, we got the Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, and the Seven of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But the Knight of Cups is an offer, okay? There could be some type of offer on the table, some type of communication coming in. But someone here is like back in, you know, like, like... <sighs> It's, it's like the seven of wands is standing your ground, okay? You see this person is coming to get some obstacles, but they're willing to stand through the fight, okay? But when I see these two together, I'm not sure if someone's blocking communication, um, blocking someone, like literally block someone from calling them. You may have to block someone from calling you. Um, you may have to defend yourself or someone ask, asking you questions and you may have to defend yourself and stand up for yourself or stand up for something that you believe in. But there's definitely like some type of offer. Someone's coming in with some type of offer. Um, this is also protection as well. Okay. Someone may be offering you some type of protection. Um, you know, and saying like, you know, yeah, I, I can... I can make sure that you, I can, you know, I can make sure that you don't have to worry about anything anymore. Someone is offering something to you, but are you willing to accept it? Are you willing to accept the offer that's coming towards you? It looks like you guys are kind of guarded a little bit. Why? Give me, give me a message for Aries. All right, Aries, we have trust the niggle, okay? So what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Is your intuition telling you something about this offer, okay? That there's an offer that this person is trying to, you know, hand to you? Or this communication that's coming in? You have to trust your intuition, okay? You have to trust your intuition about it, okay? Pay close attention to what they're saying, just pay attention to details. All right, so we got Taurus. All right, so I got Temperance Reverse, which is Sagittarius and the Four of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, so Temperance Reverse, something is not balanced, okay? You're trying to find a balance, but maybe you feel like you can't find a balance because it looks like you're pissed, okay? Or it looks like you're pissed. This could be in regards to anything that you may feel like is in disharmony right now and it's pissing you off with this four of cups okay you're not too happy about it but the thing about this is you have uh, you have four well you already have three cups sitting right here okay the universe is offering you this cup and you're like 
you, you you're so in your feelings that you can't see the opportunity that's right there in front of you okay so is there a Sagittarius that you are dealing with that is unhappy or is this you that is unhappy because something is just not balanced okay you need to try to find a balance on something what message is there for Taurus All right, so we have the ever unfolding rose, okay? Cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. It's happening for you, not to you. So this view, the way that you're viewing this situation may be in a negative aspect, okay? Maybe you need to flip the view around and your perspective on how you view this situation okay so you can come up with uh different ways to balance it out to work it out because this is definitely saying that the perspective and how you're viewing it may be a little off a little bit okay maybe you should find a positive way to flip this around okay whatever the situation is you can you can always find a balance you can always find a positive in it okay so don't look at a situation so negatively okay because it's happening for you for the better good not to you okay a lot of people get things misconstrued when things don't go their way or things don't go the way planned and then later on you find out like hey I'm glad that I didn't do that this way because if I would have did it that way then this could have ended up like this I'm glad you a lot of things that we just need to just calm down okay and take the time to think it through okay it's happening for you not to you so don't take it personal all right and also as well you got to get grounded okay get grounded get grounded connect with nature okay Gemini's I got the king of cups and the nine of pentacles you could be dealing with the Pisces cancer or Scorpio um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn but there could be a male Pisces cancer or Scorpio doesn't have to be male it could be male or female okay but someone here is very independent very um, successful financially career wise someone could be coming into your life that is very like loving caring okay or this could be you okay but with gemini's gemini's energy is air energy which is kind of flighty type energy this king of cups i think that there may be like a water sign that you guys may be dealing with um, some of you guys may be deciding that you want to be single. Okay. You want to focus on your career. Maybe some of you feel like, you know what? I'm really not even with this lovey dovey crap right now. I prefer to be single. I prefer to focus on my career. Love is just kind of like in the way. Okay. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section. Okay. Gemini. What message is there for Gemini, please? Y'all had a few that want to pop out. Oh no, this is just too much. It was like nine cards that just popped out. Gemini, give me a message for Gemini, please. Give me one message for one message for Gemini. Thank you. Share your voice, okay? Come out of the cave. It's time to express yourself, okay? Maybe that's why the King of Cups came out. We know the King of Cups is also the very expressive one, okay? It's this water energy. It's all about caring and feelings and emotions. And he doesn't have a problem with expressing his emotions and how he feels. Okay? He's a water sign. Okay? So is it time for you to express how you feel in regards to your finances, career? Could this be work-related? Okay? Is it time for you to express yourself in your career, about your career, how you feel? Um, some of you may be deciding that you want to start a business, that you want to be self-sufficient. Okay? Okay? This is all about being independent. This is about having your ducks in a row. Okay. So that could be that could be it. You guys let me know what's going on in the comment section. All right. So we got cancer. Cancer. 
We got the Two of Swords reversed and the Death card reversed. Some of you guys are dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The Death card is Scorpio's energy. So you could be dealing with Scorpio. Okay, so with the Two of Swords reversed, when it's upright, you know, this is like feeling like you're at a crossroad, okay? The death card is an ending. Maybe you're sure or you're not sure if someone's going to make a change, if there's going to be any type of transformation in something, okay? Maybe you know that you want to see some type of change. Maybe you're just not sure how to do it. Okay. Maybe someone's not making a change. Okay. Maybe you want to see something different. I'm picking up seeing something. I want something different. Oh, okay. Well, y'all got a, quite a few, but you didn't get as much as Gemini. So I'll read these. We have play. All right, so it may be time for you to kind of take things a little lighter, you know? Don't take things so serious. Have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Okay, we have where are you being called to journey to? Okay, you guys may be going on some type of soul journey. Okay, the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. It definitely seems like you guys are going on some type of mind trip mind trip or some type of journey a spiritual journey okay play don't take things too serious here okay maybe you guys are being too hard on yourself i'll pick that up as well all right so leo's we have oh we got the Ace of Wands reverse and the four and the Justice card reverse. Some of you guys are dealing with the fire sign like yourself, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and some of you guys are dealing with a Libra. But something here is unjust. Okay. Be careful what you do. Be careful what you're putting out because something is unjust. This is also karma. This is the no card. So something if it was upright, this is a yes, okay? This is the creative card. This is the sexual energy card. This is the yes. This is the big yes. A golden, new, fresh beginning. And the reverse is a no, okay? Justice upright. Justice is being served, okay? Some of you guys, this could even be the court system, okay? But this is about justice being served. And the reverse... This could be a karmic situation. Are you tied in a karmic situation? Okay. Are you in a karmic situation here? Okay. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. The things that you say, the things that you put out into the universe. Okay. Because something looks like it's a karmic. Maybe you're in a karmic situation. Okay. Give me a message for Leos, please. Like justice hasn't been served is what I'm getting here. It's like what goes around comes around is the energy that I'm getting. Okay, so let's see what message I have for Leos. Okay. Birthing new creations. Dreaming a new world into being. Okay. So something new is getting ready to come about. Okay. Something new. You're getting ready to go on a new journey. Something new is getting ready. You're creating something new. Um, interesting. I want to pull another card for this justice reverse. I really do. I really do. Because it's interesting that with that ace of wands, that is a new start. But it's in the reverse. And then the card that we... Something here is complicated with Leo's, okay? Something here is complicated. Someone's hoping that they can... That they fit in or they belong, okay? 
and someone's denying their is in denial about their self worth. Why is justice here for Leos? Fulfillment. You guys want justice, okay? You you want justice, okay, from somebody that made you feel less than, okay? The moon, okay, could be dealing with some type of secret, okay? And somebody's wanting to see justice. Somebody wants this something to end, like to be final and over with and done, done with. It could be in regards to love, okay? And there could be a water sign involved, um, a water sign and an air sign as well. And someone here is also feeling trapped, okay? I feel like you guys may be stuck in a karmic situation and you're trying to get justice, okay? You want some type of justice to be done. You just feel like something wasn't done right, okay? So it's definitely that what goes around comes around type energy, okay? So let's go to Virgo. Virgo. Virgos. What's going on? We got the Ten of Swords upright and the Tower reversed. Okay, so you could be trying to avoid some type of disaster here. There's a ending here, okay, or that you may be trying to avoid, okay? Upright, this is Scorpio's energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this is like something major, okay? This is a major ending. This is like the thunder, the lightning, and then a, something just boom, a a tree catches fire or something. What is this? What's going on? Let's see what we got. Okay, things are starting to get real dramatic now. <laughs> okay, Virgo. What message is there for Virgo? Okay, birth in a new age. Just the same card that I just got for Leo's. So something has to be destroyed is what I'm getting. Excuse me. Something is being destroyed because something new, to birth something new. I feel like there's this new beginning. You guys are, something has to come crumbling down. It could be an old way of thinking. It could be an old way of doing things. It's just something is ending, okay? Something is ending here. And it's because it's getting ready to bring in something new, okay? I'm curious too for this. Why is the tower here for Virgo, please? Somebody was playing around, okay, about a decision. Somebody is waited, waited to the last minute till their time was up and... Someone was making decisions based off of lust. Um, it's just what I'm seeing here. I feel like this is a wake-up call, okay? Why is the Ten of Swords here? This could even be betrayal, somebody backstabbing someone, betraying someone in some way, shape, or form. But I feel like this is like trying to avoid some type of disaster or trying to avoid some type of ending. Why is the Ten of Swords here? A message. So someone's not communicating what their next move is going to be, how they're going to move, Okay. You wishing that they'll hurry up and take action because they promised something and you're reminding them of the bigger picture. So maybe you're cutting someone off in communication or someone isn't responding or reaching out, but there's some type of ending here, okay? Let's go to Libra. Libra, we got you guys' energy, the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then we got the Eight of Pentacles. So you have been putting, you're going to be putting in a lot of effort, putting in work, okay? Um, and it's going to be serious business. This is what I get, serious 
business right here, okay? So you're working towards something, you're building something, you're putting that effort in, um, or you're the boss and you got your people working hard, but you are most definitely in your zone, in your element, okay? And the work is getting done. Work is getting done. Libra. Give me a message for Libra, please. Give me a message for Libras. Give me a message for Libras. All right, we got trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Okay, so maybe your intuition is telling you that someone is getting ready to put effort in or you're getting ready to put some effort in. Some real deal work is getting ready to get, groundwork is getting ready to get put into something, okay? It could be involving a sisterhood, okay? A sisterhood. You might be getting together with some friends, your sisters, your brothers, whatever. And you guys might be pampering yourselves, going out, hanging out, doing what it is that you like to do, okay? So maybe you're putting some effort into that, okay? Maybe you're pampering yourself. You know y'all Libras like to pamper and look pretty and look nice i have a libra son so i know all about it my brother is libra my son and my brother have the same birthday their their personalities are i hate to say it i try to i try to break certain cycles but they have similar traits when it comes to fashion and style and just you know kind of upscale that's what i like about libras Okay, so let's go into Scorpio. Scorpio, we got the Five of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse, okay? So Five of Cups is having regrets, mourning over something, you know, feeling like, oh my God, why did I do or why did I say? I wish I would have, did. I wish I not would have done that. Eight of Cups in the reverse is not being able to walk away, Okay. So you don't want to regret walking away from something, okay? If you walk away from a situation, are you feeling like you'll regret it, okay? What messages is there for Scorpio, please? What message do we have for Scorpio? What message is there for Scorpio, please? We have Awakening. All right, so energetic upgrades, a new way of being, okay? So you're upgrading something in some way, shape, or form, okay? I feel like you're upgrading it. You're making, you're setting boundaries. You're setting new boundaries. You're upgrading a way of thinking, of looking at something, a way of viewing something. There's an upgrade, okay? There's an awakening. And you are now setting boundaries, okay? That is great. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, Sagittarius. Okay, so we got the two of wands and the star in the reverse, okay? So the two of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and the star is Aquarius. So you could be dealing with either one of those signs. But the two of wands is when you're planning and preparing, you're plotting on something. You're plotting, you're plotting, you're making plans. Okay, that you're hoping is going to come to fruition. Okay, you got something that you you're hoping. You like, oh, I hope, I wish. It's like you wishing on a star. Okay, you're hoping that this plan goes into motion. Okay, let's see what message is there for Sagittarius. Y'all got a few. Okay, so yeah, see, creating heaven on earth is happening. All right, so you're making plans because you just see this bigger vision, okay? You see this bigger vision, and you try to make it happen. You're trying to manifest this thing into your reality. I like, okay? Take a break, not a season. Life's a, take a break. A life work, a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So some of y'all may be go, 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 because you have something that you're planning and you're working towards that you're looking into the future for, and you're just go, go, go. I gotta go. Gotta make it up. Gotta get up. It's time for y'all to chill, okay? Get what y'all gonna get and sit down somewhere, okay? 
All right, so we have the great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits, okay? So whatever you're planning, it is going to come together for you, okay? So after you get what you're going to get, y'all sit y'all behind down somewhere, okay? All right, so I hope these messages were helpful for you guys. And if you guys, I wanted to also discuss with y'all that um, I was thinking about starting to go live, okay? If you guys want to do live pendulum readings, um, want me to do live pendulum readings or live readings, you know, love readings, money readings, whatever, um, it will be donation-based, okay? So whatever you can give is the type of reading that you will get, okay? But if you guys want to see that, you guys let me know in the comment section below and we can get it popping. It ain't nothing. We can get that popping and I can start going live for you guys maybe a few times a week, okay? You know, maybe two to three times a week. And we'll do pendulum readings. We'll discuss things. We'll have topics um, that we can discuss. Um, we can do tarot readings. We can just, you know, discuss how, uh, you know, you guys can chat with me. Okay, and I can chat with you all. All right, so y'all let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this reading, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your family and your friends, okay? If you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information will come across the screen. And you can contact me via email. And we can get it popping. We can get it popping. Ciao for now.